Okay, what's up YouTube? So just doing a quick update here. Um, back in the news again is Whiting Petroleum. And of course, I've uh, for a while I've had some of the top videos on uh, Whiting Petroleum. And I've got a lot of questions as far as for the reorganization and the new rally that um, Whiting saw this week. And I've said this time and time again is when companies file for bankruptcy, they have the ability to do a lot of tricky things with math to make it seem like what it's not if you're not careful. But with a video like this, or if you like doing the research and doing some math, you can find out the actual value of the company, if it's better off now or when uh, prior to filing for bankruptcy. So we're gonna discuss that coming up. Petroleum saw a 3,000% gain this week, and it was making headlines everywhere. Uh, Whiting Petroleum is back. I saw that. Uh, Whiting Petroleum emerges from Chapter 11. I saw that. And the first thing I do is um, I'm going to look at the numbers because besides like headlines, and I don't care if the stock was a thousand dollars a share, I have to find out why. So if you're considering investing in Whiting, you have to ask yourself two questions: Why did the stock go up? And what is the actual evaluation of the company? So pretty much if you were holding Whiting prior to the uh, consolidation or the re-release of the new stock, um, you would have had the ability to trade in 75 shares of your old shares to get one of the new shares. And roughly at the, around the time of when the consolidation took place, that would put the value of the current share at about 25 cents. That's the first red flag. So let's ignore that evaluation. On August 31st, the share was trading roughly for around 80 cents a share. So at that evaluation, with the new consolidation at least, um, the stock should have been valued at roughly $60.15. Two days later, September 2nd, the stock was trading around $19 a share. That's already a 69% drop in the first 48 hours. The midpoint uh, equity line is roughly about $27.46. Now remember, I talked about the 97-3 split when Whiting was renegotiating his debt in one of my previous videos. I'll link it up here. The 97% shareholders receive roughly around 15.5% per $1,000 in principal, putting the uh, evaluation roughly at around $15.50. Even that is a far cry from the $27.40 something cent of the midway equity point. So what does this mean? This means that the new Whiting Petroleum is very similar to the old one. Um, yes, they were able to eliminate their debt. I believe it's around like 300 million now, down from the 3.4 billion. Um, yes, they've done some restructuring. Yes, the stock uh, appears to be um, in great shape, but you have to look at the bigger picture here and run the numbers. The numbers are saying that this stock is still gonna be extremely risky. Um, not even mentioned the options extending all the way to 2025, but the, this stock is extremely risky. I don't see it rallying up to around that $60 mark anytime soon. I could be wrong. A, a bunch of investors could come in and pump the stock up, but it's not going to be sustainable and it's not going to be a good indicator of the health of the company. So I hope this answers a lot of the questions I've been getting. Uh, just remember to do the math. The numbers are out there. And if you have the patience and uh, the time, you can figure out the actual health of a company. Um, don't just go by headlines and the information that the company just puts in front of you. If you can do some math and take the time out, you can actually get a better idea of where the company stands. I hope this answers all of your questions. Um, if not, I'll leave a comment. I'll reply to you. Um, thanks, happy investing, and until next time.